Hi, Kiss Church families. Boy, are we glad to be with you this weekend. Thank you for joining us once again. My name is Viv Stone, and I'm the Kids Church Pastor here at Christian Assembly, and we welcome you all. We are excited that every time we meet together, we're growing deeper in our relationship with Jesus and getting to know Him better. We're so thankful for the gift of our church community and all our friendships. In fact, friendships has been the theme for our elementary kids all month, and this weekend, we'll be learning about how true friends forgive one another. Yep, that's a big one. Our little ones will learn what it means to rest in Jesus. Lots of good stuff, right? Enjoy our lesson till the end and share our Casey family experience with friends and family who don't know about our awesome Kids Church videos. Are you ready? Here we go. Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here today and I'm excited about what we are learning. We're gonna hear all about how God rested on day seven, after he made all of his creation. And guess what, you guys? God wants us to rest too. He wants us to rest and remember him. And we're gonna hear a story about how God wants us to do that. So we're gonna look at some Bible bag clues and see what our story is about today. Hmm, this one didn't even fit in the bag. It's because it's so big. But <laughs> I've got a pillow and, ooh, a nice big blanket. And I think I know what these are for. I use these every time that I go to sleep to get some rest. But did you know that there's other ways that we can rest? You can rest by having some quiet time or by taking a nap. Or even when we read a book with our parents, that is all rest. Now God rested after making his creation and he wants us to rest too. When we rest, God wants us to take some time to remember him. And we can remember him by thinking about all of the amazing things that he has made. In just a minute, we're going to worship together with our songs. And I just want to remind you that another way we worship is by bringing money as an offering to God. We've been learning about how God created the entire world. And God loves us so much that he's given us everything we need. So we say thank you to God for all the ways he provides for us. So as we worship, if you have money that you want to give to God, you can put it in your family's offering container. Let's sing and worship about all the things that God has made. We're going to sing the creation song. We're going to start by counting from one to seven and moving our arms like this. You ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On day number one, God made light. He made the day and he made the night on day number two god made the sky it's big and blue and way up high whoa. you say whoa whoa day number three on day number three god made the sea he made the land every plant and tree on day number four god made the stars he put the sun in the sky super duper far whoa. sing out those woes whoa sing god made you Dolphins and whales and things that go squish On day number six, God made animals and bugs Foxes and cubs, all for us to hug Whoa. You hear those wolves? Whoa. Sing day number six On day number six, God also made man He said it was good and part of his plan On day number seven, God stopped to rest He saw what he made, it was his best Whoa. Sing out those woes Sing, God made you. God made you and God made me. He made everyone and everything we see. He made the earth and He made the heavens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven.
six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Creation. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was empty, formless, and dark. But the Spirit of God was there. On the first day, God said, Let there be light. And God saw that the light was good. Then He separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness night. On the second day, God said, Let there be a space to separate the waters of the heavens from the waters of the earth. God called the space 
sky. On the third day, God said, let the waters beneath the sky flow together into one place so dry ground may appear. God called the dry ground land and the waters seas, and God saw that it was good. Then God said, let the land sprout with every sort of plant and tree. And God saw that it was good. On the fourth day, God said, let lights appear in the sky to separate the day from the night. God made two great lights, the sun for the day and the moon for the night. He also made the stars. God set these lights in the sky to light the earth, and God saw that it was good. On the fifth day, God said, let the water swarm with fish and other life. Let the skies be filled with birds of every kind, and God saw that it was good. On the sixth day, God said, let the earth make every sort of animal. God made all sorts of wild animals, livestock and small animals, each able to have babies of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make man in our image to be like us. So God created man in his own image. He formed man from the dust of the ground he breathed the breath of life into man, and a man became alive. Then he saw that the man needed a helper, so God put man into a deep sleep, and while he slept, God took one of the man's ribs, then God made a woman from the rib and brought her to the man. Hello. Hi. Then God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and rule over it. Rule over the fish in the sea, Hello, Will. the birds in the sky, Hello, bird. and all the animals that scurry along the ground. <laughs> then God said, Look, I have given you every plant throughout the earth and all the fruit trees for your food, and I have given you every green plant as food for all the animals. Then God looked over all he had made, and he saw that it was very good. So the creation of the heavens and the earth and everything in them was done. So on the seventh day, God rested from all his work and God blessed the seventh day and said it was holy. God made so many amazing things and he rested after making all of his creation. And God wants us to rest too and take time to think about him. We can remember him by thinking about all of the amazing things that he has created. Today, our craft is gonna give us a chance to review all of the amazing things that God created and that we've been learning about together this month. So I'm gonna give you a minute to gather your supplies and then we'll go see what activity Gina and her kids have for us today. I hope you guys have so much fun doing that activity. we learn that God wants us to rest and remember him. There are so many amazing things that God created. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna grab our God's Amazing Creation Hunt books. They look like this. 
and we're gonna take a look at some more things that got yeah! cute. So first, take a few minutes and color the front cover. All right, we are done decorating the front cover of our Creation Hunt books. So now we're gonna head outside to do the first page. We are outside ready to do our creation hunt. Let's turn to the first page. This is something you can do with us at home. So the first page says, God made the day and night. He made the stars, the moon, and the sun. When the sun goes down and it becomes night, I look for the moon. Draw what shape the moon is here. And it can be a full moon, a full circle, or a half moon, or however you want to draw it. After you're done drawing your moon, the next page says, God made the sky. Lay on the ground and look up to the sky and take a look at the clouds. Do you see any shapes in the clouds? What do they look like? Draw a cloud that you see right here. Okay, so we're gonna do that right now. Here are some clouds that we see in the sky right now. While we are outside doing our creation hunt, you can color the pages in your book and then do your creation hunt later with your family. Ava is drawing the cloud she saw in her creation hunt book. It says, God made the birds of the sky and the fish of the sea. Look up in the sky and count how many birds you see. Write the number down on this page, right in the sun right there, and then trace the shape of the fish at the bottom. So right now we don't see any birds, so we're gonna have to write a zero, but I'm sure we'll see some birds later. Okay, so here's Ava's fish, and we saw zero birds, which I know we'll see some later. Now the next page says, God made all the trees and plants. Trees have leaves. Go and find a leaf that has fallen and tape it on the tree. Okay, so we're gonna do that right now too. All right, we're gonna move on to the next page and it says, God made all of the animals. Draw a picture of your favorite animal here. It says this page, so go ahead and draw your favorite animal. So Ava drew. Guess what is it? But the butterfly. The butterfly, her, one of her very favorite animals. All right, so we are on the last page of our creation hunt. And it says, after God created the world, he rested. When we rest every week, God wants us to remember him and his creation. Draw pictures of your favorite things in creation or tape on some things that you found on your hunt that remind you of the amazing things God made. So Ava, found some very beautiful things on her creation hunt. Flowers are one of her favorite creation. So she's gonna tape those on her paper. Well, thanks for joining us on our creation hunts. I hope you have a chance to go on a creation hunt using your book later on, and that you can learn more about Jesus by learning more about his creation. So now it's time for our memory verse. Let's pop the bubbles to see our verse.
Bible verse tells us about how God loves all of his creation. Our Bible verse says, Then God looked over all he had made, and he saw that it was very good. Genesis 1, 31. Now let's learn our Bible verse by singing it. All right, can you guys all stomp your feet like elephants? Good job. This song is Genesis 1, 31, and we're going to sing God looked over all he had made, and he saw that it was good. So you guys, let's sing it out together. Are you ready? Here we go. God is amazing and his creation is amazing and wonderful too. When we take time to rest, we should remember all of the things that God created. Well, I want to know, friends, what is your favorite thing that God created? Shout out your answer on the count of three. One, two, three. Yep, that's good. Yes, so good. Well, you guys, you guys have some great answers and I love all of those things too. God made so many amazing things. He made the stars in the sky and all of the animals. He made us because he loved us so much. Now we're going to head to Scuppet Scout Camp and see how God made us and he wants us to rest and remember him. And I heard that Pastor Steve is going to help Zara get her sleepy time patch. So let's make sure we're ready to listen and learn. Can you guys put on your Scuppet Scout listening ears? Good job. And how about your Scuppet Scout thinking caps? You got them on? Great job, you guys. Now let's head over and join Pastor Steve and Zara at Scuppet Scout Camp. Hi, Scuppet Scouts. I'm Zara. And I'm Pastor Steve. And Zara, it's time for our Scuppet Scout salute. Oh, oh, two claps and then... That's right. Let's do it. Ready? Ow! Ow. <sighs> oh, I'm really sorry. I'm so sleepy. Oh, well, that's good. Why is that good? Because today I'm trying to get my sleepy time patch. Oh, that's a good one. So, uh, Pastor Steve, can you help me? What do I do? Well, to get your sleepy time patch, you have to rest just like God did. Okay. Um. How do I do that? Well, on the seventh day of creation, God rested. And to rest means to slow down and to be quiet for a while. See, after God finished all of his work creating the earth and everything in it, he stopped and he rested. There are lots of ways that we can rest, but how do you rest, Zara? Oh, um, I take a nap. Okay, great. Well, to get your sleepy time patch, you have to take a nap. Oh, okay, well, I'll take a nap. Okay, but before you do, it's good to take some time and to think about all the things that God made. Um, okay, well, I like that um, God made the sun. I love the sun because it's yellow like me, and oh, I also uh, thought that God made the birds, and I love the birds as they chirp and sing. Hmm. All right, we have to very quiet so we don't wake up Zara. We know that on the seventh day God rested and God wants us to take a day each week to rest. See God wants us to stop, to spend time with Him and to think about Him and all the things that He made. Can you remember all the things that God made? You remember on day one God made the light and on day two God made the sky and on day three God created the dry land and he created the seas. On day four, God made the sun, the moon, and the stars. 
On day five, God made the birds and all the creatures in the sea. Then on day six, God created man and he created the animals. And I'm awake! <laughs> Did you have a good nap? Oh, Zara, that's great. You were dreaming about God's creation. Well, <laughs> congratulations, Zara. You have earned your sleepy time patch. <gasps> Yippee! <laughs> so whenever you look at this patch, you remember that God wants you to rest and to remember Him. I can do that. And for all of you Scuppet Scouts out there, remember that God made you and that He loves you very much. And so <laughs> so we'll see you next time, Scuppet Scouts. You ready to do the salute? Uh -huh. Let's do it. Ow! Hi, I'm Scuppet Scout Zara. <laughs> Let's do our Scuppet Scout salute. Are you ready for Zara's canoe challenge? Well then hop in my canoe and let's go! Today, we're trying to earn our ah, sleepy time patch. But we have to answer a few questions to get it. I'll ask you a question and you're going to paddle to go left if you think the answer is over there and paddle to go right if you think the answer is over there. Let's try a practice question first. Where is a good place to take a nap? Paddle to the right if you think you should take a nap in a cactus patch. Paddle left if you think you should take a nap in a soft, cozy bed. Good job, Scuppin' Scouts! <laughs> in a cozy bed is a way better place to take a nap than a pokey cactus patch. Ouch! Now let's go further down the river for our questions about God's amazing creation. Our first question is, after God created everything, what did he do? Paddle right if you think God ordered a pizza. Paddle left if you think God rested. Yay! <laughs> you got it right! On day seven, after God made everything, he rested. We made it to our next question. What does it mean to rest? Paddle right if you think to rest means to slow down and be quiet for a while. Paddle left if you think to rest means to jump up and down while bouncing a ball on your head. That's right. <laughs> to rest means to slow down and be quiet for a while. We've made it to our last question. Get this one right and you'll get your sleepy time patch. What does God want us to do on our day of rest? Paddle right if you think God wants us to just run around in circles till we get dizzy and fall over. Paddle left if you think God wants you to remember him. Whoa, nice paddling, Scuppet Scouts. That's right. God wants us to remember him on our day of rest. You did it, Scuppet Scouts! You have now officially earned your Scuppet Scout sleepy time patch. Congratulations, Scuppet Scouts! Thanks for joining me for Zara's Canoe Challenge! <laughs> You did it, Scuppet Scouts. Good job. Give me high fives. Yeah, good job. Pastor Steve taught Zara about how God wants us to rest and remember him. Now, Zara rested by taking a nap, but before she took a nap, she remembered all of her favorite things that God made. And God wants you to rest and remember him also. You could do that by laying down and being quiet for a while, or you could take a walk outside and look at his amazing creation. I bet you guys had so much fun earning your sleepy time patch during Zara's canoe challenge. It was so much fun. Parents, you can give your child their patch right now. Today, 
we learned about how God rested after he made all of his creation. And he wants us to rest and remember him too. And we just do that by thinking about all the wonderful things he made. Let's remember this week that God wants us to rest and remember him. So will you guys repeat that after me? God wants me to rest and remember him. Great job, you guys. Let's pray. God, thank you so much for making so many amazing things. Thank you for creating me and all of your creation. God, help me remember to rest and also to remember you. God, I love you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, Scuppet Scouts, it has been so much fun learning about God's amazing creation with you, and I hope that you guys had so much fun. Next week, we're going to learn all about someone new, and I can't wait for you to meet him. This week, I hope that you and your family can take some time to rest and remember all of the amazing things that God created. Now for our final time together, let's do our Scuppet Scout salute one more time. Ho! Great job, you guys. It's been such a good week. I'll see you later. Hey, friends. We sure hope you had a great week and that you enjoyed today's Kids Church family experience. We would like to say thank you for making us a part of your weekly routine and spending this time to learn and hear about our great God. I hope you enjoyed today's riddle. What did the wolf say when it stubbed its toe? Ouch! Thanks, guys. Have a great week.